Good evening, folks. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I'm. Um, it's Friday night, and uh, I'm about to sit down and have my dinner, which is modest dinner, but it's an excellent uh, ham and gouda sandwich on rye bread. Lewis's Hardy Rye Bread, which is delicious. If you can get it where you live, I heartily recommend it. They have a lot of different types, sourdough and Texas toast, and etc. So uh, this stuff's good. Anyway, so I've got my uh, some uh, potato sticks to go with my uh, delicious, what I hope to be a delicious ham and gouda cheese sandwich. But the real reason I'm here tonight is because a week ago I got it into my head that I would like to get into the pickle business, or at least try my hand at pickling. So, um, mainly because I have a particular passion for pickled green beans and pickled asparagus, which is not that easy to get, in the, neither of which is that common to get in the local stores. Some of the specialty stores have it. Publix has it once in a while, but anyway. So I thought, what, you know, what the heck, I'll just uh, sort of figure out how to do this myself and um, just give it an experimental try. So, so I did. So, also, I'm going to be trying some Adios Pantalones brew, uh, beer tonight. Cerveza with lemon and lime. That'll, that should be interesting and go with my sandwich well. But, uh, so, but the main event here is a week ago today, I put up three jars of pickled vegetables. Cucumbers here and green beans here. And now I'm going to unveil them. I haven't tasted them yet. So this will be my first tasting of my very first batch of pickles. And uh, I thought that might be something interesting to share with you all. Uh, so, so this was the main batch. Uh, I'll teach you a little bit about pickles, which is not that <laughs> complicated, but it's kind of interesting. So these are cucumbers, which are your basic pickles, right? And you cut them into quarters, and, or you can cut them into dollar sizes, silver dollar sizes to have chips cucumber chips but otherwise um this these are basic cucumbers sliced up and put into the brine and normally by oh, sidebar normally when you do this at home in your refrigerator you can eat them within two days but i decided to wait a whole week because i wanted to you know see let the fl flavors ferment and all that stuff in the brine so so these are right these are these are what I call regular spice and these are the this is the classic pickle spice garlic fresh dill uh, mustard seed you see those down here and peppercorn seed which are also in here the black ones so this is your basic uh, pickle um, now for my other uh, then I had some leftover pickles so what did I do I had a smaller jar so I thought I'll try those so these are regular cucumber pickles also, but um, I used regular spicing, but I added coriander and turmeric to this uh, because I saw some recipes that re recommended that. So maybe you're supposed to use turmeric and cor coriander in lieu of the regular spices. I don't know. I'm still learning. But I thought I'd just make them regular and then add the turmeric and coriander. Here or coriander. I also noticed along the way that some commercial brands use turmeric just for coloring. So uh, I don't know what impact that has on this. But um, anyway, so those are my pickle jars. Now, this was the piece de resistance, green beans. And a little sidebar, about a year and a half ago, coming back from Washington, D.C., through Virginia, off Route 81, I had to stop and get some gas, and there was a kind of a general store that was attached to the gas station. And I went in there, and they had um, uh, they had a whole a variety of pickled things, regular pickles, but they also had pickled green beans. And since I was a big fan of pickled asparagus, I'd never really had pickled green beans, so I bought them, and they were freaking delicious, just amazing. So I thought I'd try that, try that too. So. These are pickled green beans, not the exact same recipe because usually you use white vinegar for these regular spices, uh, for a regular spicing batch. But uh, in this case, I wanted to be a little more inventive and I had some apple cider vinegar on hand. 
Uh, I also had some red wine vinegar, which I which might have been an option too. But anyway, so I um, but I used apple cider vinegar and then used the you know the regular spices, the um, the dill and all that stuff, the dill, the garlic, the mustard seed, and the peppercorn. So anyway, so so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little taste test to each of these pickles, and uh, I'll let you know how I'm doing. So here is a regular classic pickle. Classic, like it, as in Vlasic, right? So, okay, here we go. Wow, I think I did it. Tastes just like a Vlasic pickle, but I think I put in a little, I put, might have put in a little extra garlic in this than in these other ones. And that comes through really well. Delicious. Really, it's got a nice kick to it. If you like your pickles with a kick. Another thing along the, the road of learning about this, I just got regular cucumbers at the Kroger. 59 cents a piece. Can't beat that, right? Um, but, you know, you, you look at these recipes and there's something called a Kirby pickle. I'm not sure what that is. And there's another, supposedly some other kind of English style pickle or something, which are supposed to endure the brining process better and still give you a nice big crunch so but I, the crunch on this was very good it was excellent so no big deal all right so let's compare that with my pickles with cardamom i'm sorry coriander and turmeric <laughs> okay I'm making a mess okay here we go here's a smaller fairly smaller one as you can see, there's dill. Fresh dill is in there. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Well, that is very good, too. Um, it's a little more subtle. It's a little more subtle. If you like a big, you know, a big garlic blast, Something like this, a regular pickle like this with a little extra garlic. Although, I notice I put in, oh, I put in two garlic cloves in that. Okay, so maybe the coriander and the turmeric kind of cut some of the other basic spices. I don't know. But it's very good. It's just a more, it's just a more subtle kind of flavor. All right, here we go. The piece de resistance. Pickled green beans in an Pickled in an apple cider vinegar, not a regular white vinegar. And the spicing will be regular, so. Uh, but I would imagine an apple cider vinegar would have a different I impact in the brining. But here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Green beans, I love green beans regularly, just dip, just to dip them in ranch dressing or something, but, um, yeah, this is good because it has a different flavor than a cucumber, so that's what's going on here. Delicious. All right, well, anyway, uh, I wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about pickling, and um, just uh, as a final, as a coda, yesterday when I was at the Kroger, what was on sale? Asparagus. I normally, what, you know, I want to pickle my asparagus, but I, I can't buy it at the regular prices these days. But they were on sale for two ninety nine a pound, so I got a, I got some asparagus. They're in the fridge, and that'll be my next pickling project: pickled asparagus. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot for sharing my pickle experience, and um, uh, happy pickling to you. Bye bye.